Hello, I'm Christopher Trella for the Laguna Playhouse. This summer, Laguna Playhouse presents the Southern California premiere of I Left My Heart, a salute to the music of Tony Bennett, running through August 21st. We sat down with the show's music director and pianist, Vince DeMura, to talk to him a little bit about the show and the music that Tony Bennett made famous. That is beautiful. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, The Shadow of Your Smile. Right. Nice one classic Tony Bennett song. First tune I arranged when really? I was the show together. Which brings me to my first question. Uh, how long have you been working on this show? I worked and on it for a year in 2004. We opened in 2005. So it's, it took a year to put the show together, basically. Right. and then a year to edit. What intrigued you about working on the music of Tony Bennett? Because it seems very simple music. And yet, I have a feeling it's not so simple. I wish it was that simple. <laughs> I wish. I, I, it, it was a great struggle. Man. I had to musically capture the, the elegance, the musicianship, um, the intent of the composer. I had to refer to the recording legacy because it's not the music of Tony Bennett. He didn't write any of it. You know what I mean? So his contribution is about the recordings. So I wanted to capture some concept of the recording legacy, and yet at the same time make it original. Uh, you hear that in Putting on the Ritz, which is, you know, I mean, I, he just did it as a jazz thing. Did a couple of them. I do it as a lambada. <laughs> you know, but that's because the show needed it at that moment. It needs something exactly. different. It needed a flair. Well, it's nice to know that you're not just obviously copying Tony Bennett. You're, you're highlighting truly the music of it yes. and still saluting his legacy and right. what he brought to the song. That's what it's about. Exactly. It's and about. you've put together a really nice combo behind you, bass, drums, and, uh, and, trumpet. and trumpet. The trumpet is a very important instrument because uh, for some reason I got the idea that he liked it. And I think it had to do with his Duke Ellington album. Because there's a, there's a track on the Ellington album where he doesn't sing. And it's Chelsea Bridge, and it's just the trumpet. Of course, it's Wynton Marsalis, so, I mean, really. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's a very dynamic and classy sound that emanates yes. from this stage. Yes. And you've got three really nice tenors. We have three great tenors. The They're show. very different, they, but they blend remarkably well. Um, they are pros. They are first-rate pros. Uh, they learn this material and stylistically they had to approach this differently. This is not musical theater. It's theater, but it's not musical theater. Right. You know what I mean? And yet it's still not just a Vegas lounge type no, show. No, it is not a Vegas lounge show at all. Which I it's, think people need to understand. Yeah, I mean, it's... Listen, let's face it. Um, the review has evolved. So, it, it, in some ways, it becomes a staged dramatic concert. Nobody knows really what to call but it. But this is a show that I think you walk away from this music feeling very, very good about life. Even, I mean, because, you know, the romance is very honest and it's very sincere. Uh, his version of Fly Me to the Moon, you know. So Sinatra, right, the Fly Me to the Moon is, is you know. It's a masterpiece, you know, it's, um, I know Quincy Jones conducted it many times. And, um, but you get the sense that he's trying to pick you up. Whereas Bennett's version is just so... the sense that he's telling you he really does love you. I think that that's, that's sort of the heart of the piece. But, you know? but my favorite song is I'm just a lucky so-and-so. And it's, it's, we do it in a kind of Ray Charles feel. 
Yeah. And even though Bennett did it sort of as, as Basie, well, I'm sorry, as Ellington would have loved it, uh, he mentions in a recording that he says, he says as uh, Ralph Sharon was playing piano, it was a great piano song. He said, he said in the recording as he began to sing, he says, Ray Charles is in town. And so I decided to treat it like a Ray Charles tune, you know? <laughs> That's great. Yeah. It's, it, is, it really is fun stuff, you know? I think what's so lovely, too, is that as a jazz musician, I hate playing the same thing twice, the same way. This show is so challenging for the actors because they never know what's coming out of this piano. <laughs> they never know. I think that that's, that's, that is the greatest power of this show is that he sang really good songs and he sang them really well and his interpretations were really musical and really intelligent. And that is, is, is worth experiencing. Really worth experience. <clears throat> okay. Thanks for watching. For the Laguna Playhouse, I'm Christopher Trella. We'll see you next time.